Welcome to Mobile Musings. I'm Sierra Madro. Today we're going to talk about using Google Voice on your iPhone and iPad. Now, I just had one of those heartbreaking things happen. I was without my iPhone for six days. Now, this was very challenging for me, as I'm sure you can completely imagine. But what got me through it was being able to use Google Voice on my iPad Mini. The first thing that I had to do was make sure that Google Voice was set up correctly for use on my iPad Mini. And at that point, it was almost as good as having my cell phone with me at any time. I'll show you how to get it set up, and then we can talk about some of the advantages of using Google Voice. I have installed Google Hangouts on my iPad Mini. This is a fresh installation. Now I'm using Google Hangouts in part because the Google Voice app is going to be end of life here very shortly. So I want to make sure that I'm using the application that Google is going to continue to support long term. That's Google Hangouts. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And it immediately finds my ID. And since I've already logged in with that ID in the past, it's able to use the username and password that I already have stored on my iPad. Now, I've got my iPad set up here. You can see that I have not had any phone calls. What I want to do is click on my name here and the settings. Now, this will give you a bunch of settings that are fairly standard if you want to snooze, if you want to have in-app sounds. Now the one that you want to be particularly careful with is under phone number where it has your Google Voice phone number. You want to make sure that you're accepting incoming calls and that it's green. That means that your iPad or iPhone will actually ring when you get a call on your Google Voice phone number. Otherwise it doesn't actually ring through to your device and that's a real problem. So now I've got this all set up and I'll show you what happens when you actually make or receive a call. I'm placing a call from another line and you can hear it begin to ring in. Now I need to very carefully swipe just that and enter my passcode. That will bring me into the Hangouts app and begin the connection process. This is a little bit on the slow side compared to a cell phone. You can see it's connecting now. As soon as someone says hello, it will actually make the connection. Hello. And you can see now that it's connected with the yellow bar. Google Voice was very easy to get set up on my iPad mini. I set it up the same exact way on my iPhone as well. The iPhone just has the advantage that you don't really have to use the headset to make it comfortable to use. With the iPhone, you can just hold it up to your ear the same way you normally would. Google Voice is a really nice complement to my iPhone telephony service. I don't have a landline, so Google Voice was a great way for me to stay in touch with people while my cell phone was actually out of commission. I plan to keep using Google Voice for those purposes. Google has the Google Voice service available for free right now, so it's certainly something worth checking out. Let me know how you like using Google Voice for your business or personal use. It's really a nice option.